one of the best things that I could possibly do with my platform is give the people what they want. So it makes sense to me to bring in a special guest that can talk about finances, money, credit repair. Why? Well, because people have asked me for something to help them get back on their feet after they've been abused, taken advantage of, whether it be financial abuse or a number of other things. So we've got Valerie today as our special guest on credit repair, bouncing back after dealing with a knucklehead and a troublemaker. Hi. You know, I said to myself, what am I going to do if Valerie doesn't show up today? Because I was going to do a show with stick figures and a dry erase board to talk about money. Oh, uh, well, I'm here. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and I love your shirt. I'm a big Lakers fan, so... I know you are, so I wore this for you today. I love it. You were on the chain of people I wore this for. Your number 44 for Jerry West. Ah. <laughs> so, no, I... The Lakers play tonight. So. <laughs> well, well, you know, I thought about telling you ahead of time. I, I thought about telling you ahead of time. Um, anyhow, um, I have to tell you, uh, a number of people have asked about this. You were kind enough, as I go searching for people all the time, to, to say yes uh, to do this. And uh, I appreciate you being a special guest to do so. Uh, but I have to tell you, people have told me, a few of my followers have told me, now that this subject is going to be talked about on this particular platform, Open Session Podcast, uh, they expect a lot from you. So I just want you to know that. No pressure, okay. but they no expect pressure. a lot from you. Great. Yeah. <laughs> they tried to put it on me and I went like, no, 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 no. You got to get a hold of Valerie. I can't tell you what to do with your money except, you know, give it to me. That's about all I can tell right. you. <laughs> so right. so um, if you could, please, um, you know, I like to jump right into it. Um, okay. If you don't mind, this show will get uploaded. A lot of people uh, that follow me and follow the shows uh, were looking forward to this discussion and they were looking for tips and different things that we could talk about. Mm -hmm. But you also have a page that I also want to talk about as well. So uh, I'll start the show off by by asking you this. The, the most common thing that I was presented with when people were mentioning this subject, their hu husband, boyfriend walked out, left them paying rent, left them with a mortgage. Uh, they're upside down. They they're running into their credit score is is dropping, <laughs> is is dropping and dropping fast. Uh, they had good credit. They went with this person, and now they got bad credit. Um, if someone is trying to rebound financially and start to, uh, to see daylight, what are some initial steps that they can make? Okay, so some of the initial steps that we can that they can make. Um, first of all, if they have, depending on their situation, if they are stuck with high debt now, maybe they have, um, you know, credit card debt that they need to pay down. Um, I have a system where we can um, organize that and restructure their payments so that they can pay it down quicker with the with the amount of money that they have without having to go to a consolidation company, um, without having to, you know, really pay extra money for something like that. I have a tool that can help have them restructure everything and lay it out where they can pay it down quicker. That's one step um, that they can do. If they have um, negative items on their reports, now mm -hmm. we're talking, I don't know, re right. repossessions, um, yeah. bankruptcies, foreclosures. That's something mm -hmm. that happens lot with the divorce and stuff like that yep. um those we can also dispute to get deleted off of their report that will also mm -hmm. help them um getting a secure card um is also a great way to build so when you're making purchases for things that you would normally use money like cash for you can uh -huh. use um, a secure card and um okay. they don't have to get approved for it or anything like that and it's their money and they're using it and that can help also um you know boost their score up and help them as well um budgeting we have budgeting tools okay. i really suggest budgeting um especially in a situation where you're tight on money and mm -hmm. you're in a situation um 
of course budgeting takes it it's it's not fun initially you know because you have to really you know cut a lot of things off and you know it's not fun but it definitely helps i mean when i started doing budgeting i saw you know ton a lot more room you know when i started knocking some some of the simple things out like coffee you know that i was buying oh uh, yeah you know what i mean that stuff that can add up is what you're saying there are things that can add up is that kind of what you're saying okay yeah at coffee when i added mine up it was 90 dollars a month so i don't i just make my own girl what you talking about 90 dollars a month are you serious (laughs) yeah and that's not even i'm trying to think right now man that may apply to me i i don't have man i gotta think about that now that that does make sense though that does make sense and that's not even like expensive Starbucks coffee. That's just regular coffee that I was buying. That yeah. when you start to when you start budgeting, you start really being introduced to things that you will you are like, okay, I, I you know when you add it up, it really adds up, and you can okay, I'm gonna make that now, and I'm gonna save that money or put it towards right. you know a bill or whatever. Um, another thing that I would suggest if you do have credit card debt and it gets overwhelming, um, it's really important to at least make the minimum payment um, okay. because if you don't make the minimum payment, that can really drop your score, which I'll talk about a little later on um, okay. significantly. Right. And if you feel like I'm not going to be able to make that minimum payment, call the credit card company ahead of time. And sometimes, you know, they're willing to give you a grace period. Okay. So we're, we are, at least, at least on my side, as you, you know, you deal with this, but uh, I'm presented with so many different scenarios everybody wanted to get an answer on. Yeah. Uh, it took me a while to find you. Yeah. <laughs> I just happened to stumble across your page uh, to find the right person I felt that could uh, explain these matters and be relentless at it. And you come across exactly that way on your page. Uh, a, 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 a very kind, gentle pit bull uh, that will rip your throat out. That's the way I <laughs> wanted somebody to be. And that's exactly who you are. So <laughs> I'm being presented with people one of the main things when I started writing out what people uh, were sending me and information that they were sending me, kind of did a little survey. What are you talking about when you talk about financial abuse? What are you looking for? A lot of people um, pretty much had the same common answer uh, quite a bit. They they broke up with someone or they walked out or that person walked out on them and left them bill. Divorce, uh, a breakup, they were discarded uh, by narcissists or whatever it may be. Uh, this toxic person uh, ran up their bills on them and then walked out and left them with bills and that affected them, even being able to get their electricity turned on in a new apartment. So, I mean, I got I got all kind of stuff people wrote me. So feel free to tackle any one of those. But one of the main one, ones that came into play, you kind of touched on it actually just a moment ago, um, getting their credit score where it needs to be. You yeah. mentioned a number of different avenues but the secured card is something that I think people may need to consider, right? Because yes. I, yeah, I don't, I don't hear a lot of people talking about that yes. um, <clears throat> on the general public uh, conversation. Correct. What's your it, thought on it? It is so important, and it uh, honestly, it really. I got a secure card. I have credit cards, but I got one anyway because I found that I was using cash for a lot of things, and yes. I saw my score jump quick because I just wanted to see I heard about it I we I have them to to for people to to use them and I wanted to be like a product of the product and see if it really works right right right. when you're using that uh, because it's your money it's kind of like a debit card but this reports Mm -hmm. to the credit bureaus right so it's like it's your money but you're using the card and just you using it for everyday things it really can boost your score quick another thing that I that I suggest for people who are renting if you are okay. renting, um, we, there's also a program, it's called Credit My Rent. This allows you to use your rental payments up to even two years past of rental payments to boost. No way. Car. Seriously? Yes. I have yes. never heard of that. Yes. Yes. And it's, it, it's a big jump, right? You can go back two years, a year, and then you can go each month going forward. It's a really, it's a very affordable program. It's, it's, it's very affordable. And it really does make that jump. Once the rent is verified, it, right. um, it takes about a month, but it, it can really boost you quick. Okay. Got it. All right. Um, you're getting a lot of love on the screen. I can't keep up. You were going to say something. I'm sorry if I, I cut you off. You were saying but I'm saying, um, think about the, um, just think about 24 payments, um, all at once going in. Okay. I got you. All right. Um, you're, um, 
man, you're going to have to put this, that in the show notes. Um, my, my viewers are requesting, I've been doing this now almost going on two weeks, telling everybody that comes on, my viewers are requesting it's much easier for them to have uh, the guests put in tips or information or how to get a hold of them in yeah. the show notes. So when the show is uploaded and done, you can go in and put it in the comments Absolutely. and it's easier Absolutely. for them to, to reach out to you. Plus mm -hmm. it keeps them from bothering me because yeah. I'm busy trying to find people. <laughs> so, um, and I always tell them that you're bothering me. Don't, so that'll yeah. be good, Valerie, if you're able to do that. Um, you got a question here uh, from Tamika, um, one of my beautiful guests from the past, and that will come back again, I hope. Uh, she asked the question from Morris Therapy, her IG page, is how are creditors considering credit approval in the pandemic? Has there been an easing of uh, how they view what's going on? Uh, are they being more lenient? Or are they putting the foot to the to the pedal and taking I, no prisoners? I haven't really seen them be too lenient, to be honest. Um, I know that there have been things out there that say that they are being lenient, but from my experience and people who I've worked with, they haven't really been too lenient. Um, unfortunately, it's you know, there's a lot of things that I feel like they should be and they should give, mm -hmm. you know, I know with student loans, they are giving yes, some that's what I heard. That yeah. is the only thing that I know of that they are being lenient with. Other than that, um, you know, not too much with the credit cards and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, you know, yeah, um, when it comes to when it comes to um, I'm just going to double back when it comes to the program when it comes to the program for renters how what was that program called what did you call it again for everybody my, it's called credit my rent um and it's actually on my page in my bio um actually in my bio i will tell you there's um there's a section where you can set up a free phone consultation there's my website there's awesome. all the services but i um awesome. Definitely would love to talk to you about this program. So it's credit my rent. And um, once it's verified that you are renting and that you've been renting, they um, can, it can really help your score. I mean, it can, right. you know, and this is something it should have already been that way before because, you know, seems it seems like it, right? It seems it, like that should have been the case already. It should be because, you know, the more people who have a mortgage, they have that it helps them right but in renters they're paying the same thing like to live somewhere so but now we have a we have an option for them and it's it's i will tell you i've seen a lot of success with that a lot of help Good. yeah when it when it comes to someone trying to um clean up their credit you mentioned about the secured card as being an avenue in which they can start to look uh, toward utilizing uh you mentioned budgeting we're gonna uh, touch on that in a little bit as well um, we're going to touch on everybody as much as we can, but yeah. she is a special guest with me, which means she will be back uh, again, at least once a month, if not more, depending on her schedule, but you can access her. Uh, I was going to say 24 seven, but she's probably going to be busy watching a Laker game. Maybe so she's not, gonna, <laughs> she's not going to be available during a Laker game. So, 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 but when it comes to, uh, bankruptcies and when it comes to, um, other things that they may have on their repossessions or closures. What does a person need to consider when they're when they're facing those challenges after a divorce or after a breakup, or they may have those because they fell on difficult times before or during the pandemic? Right. So I will tell you with um, collections, if a debt and some people don't know this, a lot of actually a lot of people don't know this. Um, mm -hmm. If you have something that went to collections, um, mm -hmm. that debt is no longer yours they sold the original creditors sold that debt and now you don't owe that new person the debt so, time out time out nope yeah. you gotta rewind you gotta rewind that that was too juicy you gotta back up on that one <laughs> no did everybody get that now okay <laughs> so when you watch this now in the live or later look at all the hearts on the screen for you you get a lot of love from everybody we got uh welcome to sarasota here and a whole bunch of people here Aww. uh but you're getting a lot of love from Thank from you. uh ashtray uh, the gang wow. and that brought a smile uh, and you got always showing love uh so a lot of people okay you got to repeat that what did you just say um so yes so if you have a collect if you have a debt that went into collections it is in collections it is on your report that means the original creditor has sold that debt to someone else and okay. now you don't 
owe that new, you didn't sign a contract with that person. So you don't owe that person. So the person lot, being the collection company, you didn't right. sign an agreement Correct. with the collection. Company. Correct. So that Correct. debt has been sold. It's been written off already. Yes. As it were from ABC, ABC market, whoever it may be, it's been written off. They wrote it off for their taxes. They, they get it as a write off. They, they'll yes. get the money some kind of way. But you're saying the collection company, yes. you know, Billy and Bob collection company, they come in and they say to you, hey, Paxton, uh, we want this money because you owe someone, you owe ABC market. Yeah. And what, the thing, the what thing are we talking thing, about here? So you don't owe them. And a lot of people think that if, okay, if I pay this debt off, if I pay them off, it's going to come, it's going to help my score and it's going to come off my report. And that does not happen unless it's in writing that they're going to actually do that. It does not come off at most. It'll say paid in full, but it's still on your report and it has to be removed. We are, it's important to know that we need to get that disputed to get deleted and that you don't have to pay them. When they call you, do not talk to them because they're trained to keep you on the phone to admit that uh -huh. debt. Right. So uh... if, if you say anything to them, you tell them, um, what I owe you and hang up the phone or don't even answer the phone. Um, so that's another thing. If you have collections on your, if you have collections, don't worry about those focus. If you're really like, okay, I need to pay off my debt, whatever's current, your current credit cards work on that debt. Right. But the collections, it's important. It's better to get it deleted off of your account and then you don't have to pay it and you don't have to deal with that anymore. And, and be really careful about, if you're going to pay it and thinking that it's going to come off your report because that's right. not the case. So someone can think that they're doing something and actually they're giving away money that they need to try to hold on to take care of what they currently are taking care of instead of chasing what they were not able to take care of in the past. Absolutely. So, I mean, what, what are we, okay. So what are we, what are we talking about here? We're talking about, you have, you can have past debt, you could have your current debt, current credit cards, which should at least pay the minimum. Is, is that what you said a little bit earlier? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But yet the collection company is trying to tell you about the stuff in the past. You have to tell them, well, don't talk to them. Yeah. Is what you're saying. Because they want to keep you on the phone. Don't even talk to them. Don't and... answer it. Don't answer Don't answer it. Ignore the call. Send it mm -hmm. to whatever. Mm -hmm. You want something in writing. But what if you get something in writing? In other words, I'm going to piggyback a question that's on the screen uh, from, from Tamika. Tamika is asking the question. You may have touched on it, but I just want to maybe repeat it. So how do they get collections uh, and a collection debt removed from your credit? Specifically, though, how does it happen to get it removed if somebody's, you know, holding up a, a car purchase or uh, a rental, a new rental or whatever? How does a person get it removed? Okay, so it's a process. It can take it can take a few months. Um, but what will what I do? What we do is I have paralegals and credit attorneys, and they um, generate letters and mm -hmm. they send them. What we do is we have we generate the letters, then we have you sign them and send them to the credit bureaus, all of the bureaus. And right. what they do is, um, you know, they know the wording to use and stuff like that. Sometimes we can get it removed with it they have 30 to 45 days to respond right sometimes we can get it removed in the, the credit bureaus letter. do yeah the credit bureau okay. yes yep and sometimes we can get it removed within the first round 30 45 days sometimes mm -hmm. it might take a second letter with different wording but mm -hmm. um you know it's it's the, it's a process right so yeah. i've had people get them removed first round I've had other people, it take a couple of rounds or a few rounds. Right, to get right, 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 right. So what well, we're, um, no, go ahead. You were saying, Valerie, please no, go I'm ahead. Saying, um, so basically because it's not your, because it's, you don't owe that person anymore, that's how we're able to okay. get it. All right. So we're, it's a process that it got on in the first place. So it's going to take a process to get it off. Yes. But it, but at least a process has to be started for that process to even uh, start to work to get it off. So it's very important to at least work on our credit uh, so that we can maintain it and then protect it. You're talking about working on it so that it's healthy, healthy credit. And you're also talking about maintaining it, making the minimum payments to the best of our ability. Talk to them, work something out. 
but you're also talking about protecting our credit as well. Um, I've just noticed different things that were on your page. I'm leaning toward that. Um, how can a person protect their credit? Protect it. Um, be- Do they just give out their cards to any knucklehead that's the friend of theirs? No, 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 no. So with <laughs> unless they're a Laker fan, that's different. No, no, no. So with our with our program, we have identity theft monitoring. Um, we're through all state. So definitely getting that is really important to protect to protect your debt, protect everything. It's up to a million dollars of wow. um, even even if you had passed um identity theft problems, that's a way that you can um protect, you know, protect yourself. The other things that we have um is uh, we have a will and trust that we also offer that's okay. included. Right. But when you come mm-hmm. for credit repair, um right. we're not only repairing your credit, right? We're also like making sure that you are paying that debt off. We have that program. We have the budgeting. We have all financial literacy. We have the identity theft monitoring. We have a will and trust. It's all included. So it's basically like covering you from all angles, basically. Right. It's a, so so it, it allows people to have an opportunity to have a financial management plan as they move about their life. Again, on my platforms, I deal with mental health, mental health and abuse and victims of abuse and survivors. So they wanted to have this discussion on my platform. And again, I repeat, I am so honored that you said yes. And it what I didn't ask you to be a special guest and come on because you're a Laker fan. That has nothing to do with it. Go Lakers. Anyhow, so so, so I'm just I'm just kidding. Um what what I do want to say is um when it comes to budgeting, now there there's so many there's so many parts uh when it comes to money. But the bottom line is money is truly a protection when we use it properly uh, and when we clear up the times that we did not use it properly or we've been financially abused by somebody else who was a who was a loafer and a freeloader. Uh, But when it comes to budgeting, not everybody likes that part of money (laughs) because I got a few people that wrote me and said, I just want it to go away, you know, so I can do whatever I want. And I was like, okay, you still got to budget your money, right? Because you'll end up in the same problem again or the same bad, bad relationship with money. Yeah. And that's the thing. So it's, um, I'm glad that you brought that up because I think as humans, we, it's natural for us to think short term rather than long term. Mm. And we, we are kind of stuck on that instant gratification, right? So mm-hmm. let's say that you have some extra money and you've been really wanting these shoes, right? So you go to the store and you buy these shoes. You're giving them the money and you're instantly getting the product. You're instantly getting mm-hmm. the shoes. So you're it's that gratification right then and there, <laughs> right? But, you know, but when we're talking about fixing credit, budgeting, yeah. that stuff isn't, it's not instant, right? It's more long thinking the long term rather than the short term. It took a little bit to get to this level. It's going to take a little bit to get out. It's a process, but you know, it's just like working out, you know, it's just like, if you want to get in shape or if you want to lose weight, you know, it's not, you know, you're not going to go to the gym one day and you're going to automatically be in that situation. <laughs> I wish it was, you know, right. right. Well, we all we all wish that, but you know, I have I have to have my pandul I have to have my pandulce, so I don't know. I I got I got to eat some bread. Right. So and it it so, takes some sacrificing, right? So budgeting takes some sacrificing. This is what I'm gonna tell you because I feel like this has worked for me, and I think it's so important. I do a lot of mindfulness. Um, a lot of my whenever I'm trying to get to a goal, I write down my why. Like, why is this important to me? Like, why is this important to me? Why is it important to my family? You know, go beyond you. And what will it feel like when I get to this goal? What will it, what will my life look like? Right. And like, really take some, some time, like five minutes, even like, just get into your mind, write all the feelings down, picture yourself in that moment. So picture yourself in a moment where you, where you have extra money at the, at the end of the month, where your credit is in a good place, where your finances are better, right. Picture what that will look like. And then write it down because mm-hmm. you're going to need to look at that when yeah. you know yeah. you're you you know a week goes by and your credit score isn't up or you have to sacrifice maybe buying lunch and you have to you know pay um make you your make your lunch much. you yeah, know you right. have to sacrifice going out so much because that's gonna those i th- those moments are gonna really like 
not feel so great. And you're going to have to look at why am I doing this, right? right? Because that's where people quit, I think, on things or they stay stuck on things is yeah. because when they get to that hurdle, they're like, ugh, right? Because they don't have that why in their mind of why it is so important. And um, I will tell you, getting your finances in order and getting your credit, you know, we yeah. all have different goals, but getting that in yeah. order, it is truly important. Like, Put it yeah. this way. I just want like a really quick example I want to throw out there. Yeah. If you bought a house. Hey, you're the two- diva. You can take as much time as you want. You don't you don't have to feel rushed. <laughs> yes, but um if because you know, some people <laughs> you say, well, my credit, my credit, maybe it's not that important. Um, but you know, if you buy a house for two hundred and forty thousand dollars, right? Okay. Um All right. if you had a credit score that was less like five hundred and sixty as opposed oh, to wow. seven forty, we're <laughs> talking uh, the 560 yeah. person is paying $2,655 yep. a month. The person with the 740 is paying $1,149 a month. That's a difference of 1500 a month. Yep. So that person with the credit score that isn't so great is paying double the money. What yep. would you do with an extra 1500 a month? What could you do, right? Think about right. it, you know, so it is important, you know, so when you're thinking, you know, if your goal is to buy a home, that's what you need to focus on. If your goal is to be able to get a car without needing a cosigner, that's what you need to think about is that right. their interest rates, you know, it might be just a, it might not seem like a big deal until you see when someone has the same thing as you and paying significantly less, you could be putting that money towards vacations, saving, rainy day fund. Do you know that there are um, 56% of the population does not even have a rainy day fund, right? Okay, now, look, that creates a problem. It does. And and look at the pandemic, you know, if that yeah. didn't show us that we need to, you know, have a rainy day fund, I don't know, I don't know, you know, because anything can happen at any time. So it does suck you know to do budgeting i will tell you but it not at the end of the month when you have all this extra money, you know okay, not yeah a little space for savings goal and you're putting that money in the savings then yeah. it's to be like okay you start to see the little right. rewards right but over time big rewards you know so we're talking about maybe having to make some really important well sacrifices so that a person will start to me for an example i would have to make some adjustments i'm going to take out sacrifices we get yeah. say i need to make some adjustments so i start investing more in myself instead of investing in purchasing this or that or 50 billion donuts or over here and this new thing and that new thing i'm really paying somebody else's mortgage when i could use that extra money as a rainy day fund for whether it be a p- pandemic to the plumbing goes out so a person has to look at, wait a minute, I keep investing in everybody else and they have money and now I have less. You've kind of given me a different way to look at money, but when it comes to budgeting, it still could hurt. Yeah. So what should people chop off first? The low hanging fruit or go right to the stuff that's the big ticket item stuff and see if you can start chopping some of that. What should a person kind of do when it comes to with a budget? Just uh, throw a dart at it or sit down and be disciplined and start writing out where the money's going. Yeah. So once you get a ledger and you put down what's coming in and, you know, what's going out for the stuff that you need, then when you start to get to the extra stuff, I'm going to say, because if you're new to budgeting, it's going to be a little like painful. I say start off small. (laughs) Like going to the dentist? Is that what you're saying? (laughs) It's going to be pain. This is going to hurt. Exactly. This is gonna hurt. I say start out small because then it won't be such a big hit and you can get used to it a little bit. So take something okay. off that's small. Take a small thing off. Like me, it was coffee, right? Although I love buying my coffee, uh, I, I saw a big difference in just making my coffee. So whatever's small for you, all right, let's say you eat out lunch uh, for lunch five days a week. Maybe do it like- Wow, that's some serious days. money. Yeah, I cut that out. I cut that out a long time ago. That's I know I went through that and it was like, OK, I got to stop this. It's OK, good. go ahead. Yeah, that, they, no, it, it adds up. It really it, does. It like does real quick. Up. Yeah. So if. All right. So instead of like start out with maybe, you know, three days a week, work your way down to two, work your day down to one. Let's say you go out, you know, I don't know. Let's say you go out for like entertainment, whatever it is that you do. Let's say you right, go right, out right, right. once a week. Right. <laughs> maybe you might yeah. want to do just a couple of times a month. 
because I'm going to tell you, it's going to hurt. But then when you see that extra money, it's going to motivate you to do bigger. It makes a difference. Yeah. Right? yeah. And then yeah. you start moving bigger in the budgeting. I think starting out small and seeing those small returns, then you start moving bigger. And then um, I, I like to just set up a little like for an expense. My savings goal is an expense and I put money in every week. So whatever I'm saving in my coffee or my online shopping, you know, I put oh, it you put there. it. You, you put it away so you're really investing in yourself. Right, uh, right. So and after it, after after a while, you start recognizing you really don't need that money then. I mean, you don't need that coffee that bad, in other words. Exactly, exactly. So think of a goal. Like, once you pay off your debt, once you pay yeah. off your debt, think of a goal. Like, is there somewhere that you wanted to go? Did you want to go to a, on a three-day okay. weekend somewhere? Right. Think of a long-term right. goal. Like, okay, maybe, you know, next year I would like to go away for a weekend. So now... So now I'm, what am I going to sacrifice now? Not sacrifice. What am I going to, you know, give up now? Right. So I can make right. that happen. Put that money that you get, putting it in that savings goal as an expense and see it pile up. Right. So when sometimes you- we, so sometimes we need to make an adjustment or pivot from the direction we're going in. Cause this it's not sustainable. Right. Having coffee over that long run is not sustainable because eventually you will run out of money to keep doing that lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Or you will have to keep chasing money, as it were, to hold on to a lifestyle that's not sustainable. Exactly. Um, I, 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 I don't want to give all your tricks of the trade out because they need to talk to you on a one-on-one basis. Did you say there is a phone number to reach you? I can't remember. Did, did I get there that wrong? There is a phone number. Is... Yeah, there is okay. a phone number. Okay. It's on my... In the bio, I think. It's in my bio. Yep. My, my okay. email, my bio, you can DM me. I get to my DMs. I know that um, I'm actually, I get back to people at all, like up until sometimes. No, you don't. Night. No, you don't. You blew me <laughs> off. Like it was like two weeks before you ever answered. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. She over there making, she over there making bags. Hey guys, she over there making bags of chips, man, making all kind of money. She go like Paxton. I ain't got no time for him. I'll talk to him later. He's over there hanging, hanging out with Tony Robbins and stuff like that. You ain't got no time. <laughs> I'm just messing. Uh, I, right. uh, I got. I see somebody's comment. Cut out your man. Yeah, you I, I just, just yeah, that's 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 the beautiful to me because she's 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 a, a great person. She you, she cut out her manny. Okay, now somebody's gonna listen to this later, and somebody's listening to this later, and they're gonna freak out. Well, but you know I did that. She to me, it said okay. Let me read what she says oh, real quick okay. before you, you you say that though. Yeah. Uh, cut out she cut out her mani and her petty and facials to help her budget. And I'm gonna tell you right now, she still look good. <laughs> she still look good. I bet she so does. I bet she so does. I want you to know if I start cutting that stuff out, man, you guys not gonna wanna. I'm, I'm gonna have to go no visual podcast anymore. We're gonna have to just put a screen up, a cartoon character. Some people um, they find that pretty hard to be that strong and disciplined and strong willed like uh, Tamika is yeah. to do that. Uh, yeah. What was your, what was your experience like uh, well, Valerie? I, that kind of just happens. <laughs> Withdrawal cut, symptoms. Yeah. I actually cut that out during the pandemic. You know, when they shut everything down, they shut the hair salons, the nail salons yes, down. Yes. So yes. I yes. started to learn how to do it myself and yes. I never went back because I'm saving a lot of money. So I do my own nails <laughs> and I've learned how to do my own nails. I do my own pedicures. I um, I even do my own hair, right? So- Okay, all right, all right, wait, hold on. No, 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 hold on. <laughs> okay. That's for you and Tamika right there. Hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> now, if you tell me that you started a salon that would really be cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're going around doing mobile uh manis uh manis and petties now that would be cool yeah. uh so so you and tamika are on the upper echelon of uh smart intelligent uh budget conscious women um what are some things now i'm gonna ask you something that's gonna strike home only for me with the, with the guys that follow me and write me in my dms Somebody mentioned this, and I'm going to say it now. What about guys? What are certain things that guys need to give up? One guy told me that his wife was telling him he's got to cut this, cut this, because she does the budget. And he's like, I'm not giving it up. But uh, I I told him I was going to have this show, and he was going to like, well, just ask this question. He didn't want to be specific. I mean, I know what it is. He doesn't want me to say it because 
because his wife also watches my show. <laughs> but well, he's, she's probably going to figure out who it is at this point. Um, what are some things guys can possibly cut out because most of them are not getting uh, manis and pedis and facials? Uh, well, I, I would get a, a pedicure. Uh, but anyhow, so what are some things that guys can can trim uh, financially uh, that you have seen or would suggest? Um, so for guys, I would say going to the bars, getting drinks at the bar, that kind of thing. <laughs> Right? Getting that's DUI, like, well, getting DUIs is that what you're saying? They should cut out getting DUIs. <laughs> Definitely okay. cut the DUIs. Stay home. That's yeah, gonna, cut the DUI. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. Yeah, don't. Yeah, go ahead. What else? Yeah. What else? Um, so if I'm thinking guys like I don't know the kind of guys that I know of um, bars definitely when you go to a bar and I like the way you said guys, guys that I know of I like the way you said that you didn't say like well the corporate guys I know that are normally at the golf course you said guys that I know they're at the bar. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm so messing with you. I told you it was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tamika threw a suggestion on the screen, but go ahead. You mentioned the bars. Tamika uh, is saying haircuts. They need haircuts. But go ahead. Um, <laughs> Unless they go go like me. I just do my own. It just, they can uh, do that. <laughs> they yeah. Can do that. <laughs> Um, hey, it's like no, 25 I, bucks. I, it's like 25 bucks to get my ghetto hair done. You know, so it's like, that's all right. I'm good. I go ahead. You're I noticed with men, um, sports guys. Um, yeah gambling on the games Dude. see you brought up exactly what he was now everybody now he's gonna know his wife's gonna know it. that's exactly what his wife told him he's betting on the games and doing football, stuff like that fantasy yeah football, I mean. fantasy, fantasy football, football. Yep. um i know yep. like you know the basketball when it comes around they, they bet yep. on the games and bet on games that's a lot of money too right killing the budget just killing the budget that's and getting addicted it. to the yeah yeah killing the budget okay yeah. so what have you recognized about yourself to your emotional health, your, your, your thinking processes, just the way you are now as a woman and as a person, as a mom, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, right? As a yeah. mom, yeah. what is life like for you now that you have made sure money works for you and you don't just work for money? Um, it has been life changing for me because I am divorced. I have two kids. And mm -hmm. um, before I started this journey, I was, you know, I had a great position. Um, well, I do still. Um, and but it wasn't enough, you know, making a right. two two income yeah. household out of one income I always mm -hmm. I was like well I need more I need to do something else plus I didn't feel like I was living in my purpose I was I'm actually uh graduated college as a teacher but I never became a teacher because at the time I had my son and um yeah. my job at the time was allowing me to be flexible to be with mm -hmm. him so um right. you know, fast forward then I get divorced so I was at this yeah. job kind of stuck at this job but not fulfilled right sure. um and then something that I the reason how I got onto this is because I started a couple of things that I feel like are missing in the schools is uh, mental health. They should do more of. And then also yeah. I feel like financial literacy is missing. Yep. So I started to have weekly Absolutely. talks with my kids about money, like money mm -hmm. talks. And I have with my kids mm -hmm. mental, like mental talks, like life talks, I call them. Way to go. Way to go. Yeah. Way to go. So I started, so when we started to get a little more in depth about money talks, I was like, Ugh, I don't know, like a whole I don't know like a whole bunch. So I was educating yeah. myself on it. I only knew the basics. And then I kind of um, fell into this, you know, I fell into this because of that. And um, it has been life changing for me and for my kids, because now I'm teaching them. A lot of kids, are they're graduating high school without this knowledge and they're getting into problems, you know, with credit cards and stuff like yeah. that. So it's actually been amazing for me. Budgeting has been crucial for me um, because it's helping me really pay attention. Now I wasn't paying attention, you know, I'm just with the debit card and, and stuff like that. So now I'm, I'm more like paying attention. I have goals now and um, like I, I'm more I'm, I'm in the house a lot more. I'm, like I said, I'm doing my own nails, I'm doing my own hair, you know, yeah, because yeah. I wanna be able to be able to uh, make more memories with my kids and that's more important for me. So to be able to save that money for like things with them, you know, so it's been great. I, and I will tell you, um, your mindset is so important and that's something that I have to do every single day, you know, to yeah. stay focused, to stay on the right road, to stay 
say with all of my goals in my life is really just um if I, I I mean I fall asleep reading, but I have the audiobooks, you know. And when uh, I'm yeah. in the car, I'm listening yeah. to audiobooks, um, self help books. When I'm on the treadmill, I'm listening to self help. Educating books. yourself, educating yeah. yourself. Yeah. Educate. I beat that into my daughter so much. I don't literally beat them, but if I needed to, I know it. That's no, good. no, because because once, especially a woman, and this is just my soapbox moment. Especially a woman when she really understands money. Yeah. And how it truly is a protection. You don't really have to chase it. If you manage it right, yeah. it'll start coming towards you. Right. It's amazing uh, how, how things can change when a person's self-esteem, uh, it, it goes before money. Instead of people chasing money so they can have self-esteem, their self-esteem is ahead of the money and the money catches up to them. Uh yeah, it's it's an interesting thing. I, I find you a very resourceful woman who I I'm telling you, I, I knew you were gonna be this awesome today. I just knew it. No matter how much you were nervous in the show prep. I know <laughs> you, you, you just you're like I, I know you're gonna this is gonna be good, but I have no idea what how this is gonna turn out. You were excellent today, but Thanks. there's so much more that we have plans for everybody to talk about on a regular basis in regards to money and our own self-esteem and the way we view the usage of money and not letting it use us. Uh, and so there's so much more. And by the way, when we get to these other shows, the content is all Valerie's, by the way, everybody. I just try to find a way to be in here uh, and be, uh, be Robin to her bad girl. So uh, she was, uh, you, did, you did awesome today. Uh, a lot of help. Uh, a lot of information. Um, I truly appreciate it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna talk some more another time, everybody, about some other subjects that people wrote me about. I'm gonna pass them on to you, Valerie. You'll be okay. able to 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 put the uh, content together, right. and uh, we'll be talking about it. Um, I do want to ask you this before we go. When it comes to a person recognizing. Maybe because something catastrophic happened, but they recognize that they have not been managing their money well. What do they need to do? Do they need to change habits or do they need to get help? Because obviously what they're doing is not working. What do they need to do? Your last bit of advice and words, somebody recognizes they've just dug themselves a hole. Mm -hmm. Um, so first, I'm just going to let you know that if, if you dug yourself a hole, please don't feel bad about it because there are 43 million people who wow. are in a situation right now <laughs> with a, a low of, credit score, wow. uh, well, with a credit score of 599 or less, and there's 1 trillion Americans who are in credit card debt right now in America. So if you are feeling like, don't be embarrassed, please, because there's a lot of people in the situation, there's a lot of reasons why it can happen. But I will tell you um, a little bit of both. You you do have to get help. You have to get guidance to see where to start. You need to start okay. a journey. Um, and then um, you do need to make some changes, right? Some a lot of changes to get yourself out of it, but it will all be worth it in the end. And I, um, like I said, I do give consultations over the phone that I do not charge at all. You can go through your whole scenario with me and I can give you a, um, a plan, you know, that you can start on your own, you know, without me. Um, and then, you know, to get going. And um, so basically, definitely, you know, getting help and you, but I will tell you, you're going to have to make a lot of a lot of short term changes for the long term um, goals. Okay, so there's no right way around that, right? People who are trying to do a shortcut is how they found themselves in the hole in the first place. There's no shortcuts. There's no shortcut. There's no Even shortcuts. if they had uh, excellent credit or they, they were in a better position and then they went through a divorce or a number of other things happened. They still need to now do the work so yes. that they can get back and even better than where they were before, but they got to follow the process, but you can help them with that. Right. You, as you yes. mentioned, you oh, can, yeah. you can work with them. Everybody, yes. please don't think that you're alone. Maybe you uh, came from a family and they were horrible with money. Maybe you never had someone yeah. uh, really teach you how to work and mm -hmm. utilize money the right way. Um, as a couple of people wrote me, they came from the foster home system. 
So yes. they never really had anybody teach right. them. And uh, when I asked them about uh, you coming on and stuff, they were like, oh, we, they can't wait to see the, the, the upload. They're going to download it and watch it. Uh, so there's a lot of people that fall into that. Would you mention 43 million uh, people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And so, if you, do I have a few minutes just to give a couple of tips you, on what makes you, it? You the diva now. Come on now. Okay. That's that's like LeBron asking, can you throw me the ball? You just take the ball. Just go, <laughs> right. and take, go ahead and just take it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there's just, I just want to, I know that there's a lot of people don't know even what makes up your credit score. Okay. So I just want to let you know exactly what makes up your credit score. So when you, when this ends, you can start to think about, um you know how it plays out in you know your world right now so 35 percent of your credit score is making your on-time payment so that's huge um so like i said earlier making those minimum payments and if you can't make those minimum payments on time calling the calling the credit card companies ahead of time um and asking for for a grace period right so paying on time 35 percent 30% of your score is your utilization. So if you have a, this is another thing that a lot of people didn't know. If you have a credit card that has a thousand dollar limit, you cannot go up to a thousand. I mean, you can, but it's going to hurt. You should be able to, but they're right, rules, right, right. It hurts your credit. So you have to stay like under 300 um, because that is 30% of your score. So those two things together is 65% of your score. Um, the other thing, 15% of your score is the length of credit. This I did not know. Um, any credit card that you have, that's it, it gets better with like wine it gets better with age got so it, if you have it. a credit if you have a credit card that mm -hmm. over two years old it is helping your credit as long as it's you're paying on time and it's below utilization so the longer the, the older the credit card the better i when i was young i paid my credit cards down and i cut them up and closed them out don't ever close them out because they are helping you some people are afraid of credit cards they think that they're bad they're not bad they're good if you use them correctly they actually help you um 10 of your credit score is inquiries so uh considering like the last 12 to 18 months if you're trying to um, open credit card, credit card, loan, 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 that's going to really like help. Not good. No it's bueno. Not good. not good. It's not okay. good. So you shouldn't have more than a few um, within that time period. Um, and the last one is the types of credit, which is 10%. So I, a lot of times when I talk to people, that's why I ask them, do you have credit cards that you pay on time every month? Do you have rent? Do you have loans? Because if you have a couple of credit cards, a loan and rent that you, that you can um, pay every month, that's going to help you. If you mm -hmm. don't credit card, we got to get you a secure card. If you don't have loans or anything, if you were renting, let's get that rental payment on there. So having a mixture is going to also help help you. Right. This has been exactly what I wanted it to be and beyond. Oh. You're almost like Buzz Lightyear. You're almost <laughs> like Buzz Lightyear. And I, I'm, I'm like, Woody, I'm like, I need a cowboy hat when you come on. <laughs> and so is like, this was absolutely what I wanted it to be. Good. Because of all the requests that I had for well, probably about three months now, it's been about three months. People were requesting, you know, oh. and uh, it's uh, I this is this uh, totally uh, is exactly what I wanted. Uh, I look forward to you always being a part of this platform as it continues to grow and expand. Uh, you're getting a lot of love on the screen. Oh, uh, my screen, you. my screens near to me have died on me because I didn't charge them before the show. So I'm looking at it from a distance, but it says thank you so much. Uh, this was very helpful. Oh, I'm sorry, God. I can't see who that's from. Oh, that's from Darcy. I think it's from my friend Darcy, who was also on the Real show. Another beautiful. Counseling. Yes, yes. That's yeah. another beautiful guest of mine. Uh, <laughs> if I did not read your comments, um, please make sure you come back the next time. You will know when Valerie is coming on. I will run another commercial and a promo before she comes on. Uh, so you can uh, bring your questions for her. Uh, you can talk about uh, your financial status if you like and ask some questions. and. Uh, take a few moments uh, of the show uh, to get a, a mini, a super mini uh, consultation with Valerie on air. Um, we are going to be moving uh, and doing a number of different things that Valerie has no idea, but uh, <laughs> that, that's going to make this accessible to as many people as possible during the live. There's some things that, uh, and equipment and things that we have in here now that we'll be able to do that. So we look forward to everybody being a part of this. If you were discarded, if you were kicked to the curb because of divorce and life after divorce, 
seems tangled and confusing to you, but more importantly, your finances seem upside down. Uh, please feel free to be a part of this particular uh, show uh, when Valerie is on. And um, we're going to try to do some things also on the Narc Abuse uh, TV network as well. Uh, Valerie is our special guest for this particular uh, platform because I want everybody to be spoiled with her. And I'll figure something out for Narc Abuse TV. I don't want to run you th uh, thin and rampant. Uh, I want you to be fresh every time you come on here. Uh, but um, everybody, thank you so much for today. Thank Valerie, you. you were the, indeed the queen of the day. Thank you. You, thank you. you truly were awesome. Any last words uh, before we go? No. Um, I, well, I just want to say thank you for listening in. I hope you found value in this. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me um, and we can come up with a plan for you or even just some advice I can give you for whatever situation you're in. Um, you'll find it in my bio. Just definitely DM me anytime and we will definitely connect. And I look forward to helping you. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, you get a chance uh, over the next uh, couple of days or if you can today, whatever the case may be, um, they love it if you are able to put all the information, every which way they can find you, including what you just said in the show notes or as it were, the comments uh, after I upload Absolutely. this show. Um, whatever you need to do, um, you put it there. Um, so far, it's been working. All the people have told me they love the guests when they put that on because okay. they can go right to one source to find them. They don't have to search a lot of different places and they can uh, talk to you uh, directly. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. You're the best for Thank doing this you. today, talking I about money. I appreciate you. it. And we'll, we'll get together soon, everybody. We'll see everybody later. Bye. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.